In this video tutorial, Cody and I are going to show you how to assemble the annex on the XH 7.4 Expedition Hauler. Already we've attached the draft skirt to the side of the camper. The draft skirt is in two pieces. The main piece sits across the forward section in front of the storage areas and the secondary piece starts just after the steps and runs towards the back. We've pegged that down, got it nice and level, then attached our floor to the draft skirt Velcro. The reason we do this is it's much easier to spread the floor out, get it in place before you put all the walls on. And now all we need to do is lower the awning so it's easier for us to reach and attach the walls between the Velcro on the floor and the Velcro on the awning. So lift the floor back, slide the wall underneath so you can attach the Velcro, then firmly push the Velcro down between the floor and the base of the wall panel. Now that's done, we can lift it up and attach it to the Velcro across the awning. You'll notice that the poles are pushed back away from the edge of the floor. That's so we can easily fold the floor back to bring the wall in and attach the Velcro. Now we just need to tidy up the corner against the camper trailer and we can move around to the wall on the opposite end. Now the opposite end is exactly the same. It's just where it attaches to the edge of the camper, there's a bit of a cutout, so a little bit more care is needed in attaching the Velcro there. What we've done is peg the end walls at the very end nearest the front of the annex. Now we can remove our guy ropes and attach the front wall and raise it up. Now, all we need to do is peg the annex down all the way around, peg the walls down in the right position. Before you do that, just make sure the floor is flat, everything's square and is sitting the way it needs to sit. Also, we have a couple of support poles. They're number 14s and they go on the inside between the ridge pole and the floor. And they go in this position here and you'll see this ID ring right here. What that's for is extra security if it starts getting windy, bad conditions, you can actually run a rope down to a peg from there. A lot of extra support, stop your annex blowing around in strong winds. Just gonna show you a little trick on how to get the tent rope back over the spigot. Once the tent's up nice and high, I'm just using another spigot pole. Put the knot through there and simply loop it over the other spigot. Now I can tighten it up, it's ready to go. And there you go folks, that is the annex on your XH 7.4 Expedition Hauler set up in all its glory. Remember, lower the corners if it's raining and don't allow water to pull on the canvas and season it as you would the main tent. For more information, go to marketdirect.com.au and check out our other YouTube videos.